This is Pangalangbung uh, in southern Kalimantan, and this is now the forward operating base for the operation to search for and recover uh, debris from Flight 8501. And you can see behind me here, there's troops getting ready. They're waiting for another helicopter to come in with bodies on board it. And what we've seen here today uh, is a US helicopter from the US Navy uh, coming in here from the USS Samson, which is a ship that's taking part in the search and rescue operation. And it had four bodies on board. They landed here. Uh, the crews here behind me then went out onto the runway with stretchers. They brought the bodies off the helicopters, took them away in ambulances. Uh, those bodies have been taken off to a local hospital to be cleaned up and they will then be brought back here and put on this plane behind me to be flown to Surabaya where they will be formally identified at the hospital there and then eventually handed over to their families. Now so far there have just been 18 bodies recovered. There are still more than 140 people who are still unaccounted for. And that's because they haven't still found the rest of the wreckage. When they first found wreckage on the sea out there 100 kilometers away on Tuesday, there was a real sense of optimism that this investigation was moving forward fast, that they would find the rest of the plane in a matter of days. I have to say today there is much more of a mood of pessimism. They're now talking about a week or maybe more uh, before they find those black boxes. And the reason for that is the weather. It's been stormy here. The seas are churning. There are large waves. And it's just making it really, really difficult for them to see down into the sea and for divers to get down into the water to search for the plane.